I know I haven't posted a video in a very long time, but I decided to go ahead and make this video and show you guys since it is something new and different. I've never actually done this before, but um, I have this fabric here and I want to wrap that around my Hobonichi planner. So if you haven't seen this, this is the Hobonichi Weeks Mega. So it has like all the graph paper in the back. And I actually might plan on um, doing some plan with me's in uh, filming that because I have been posting all my plan with me's um, on my Instagram. But I think I might start filming and um, put them on YouTube. But yeah, so I have some of my weekly kits and I have um, this monthly kit that I filmed all on Instagram. But I think you'll start seeing more plan with me's on um, this YouTube channel but yeah anyways this video is about putting this fabric on here so I actually did not buy this fabric I got this from another shop owner she um, gave it to me because I told her I really liked it um, so I bought this jelly cover from her store if you're interested in the jelly cover this is her information here it is hello serendipity so it's www hello uh, I don't know what that line is. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Hyphen? Yeah. Uh, serendipity.com and there's all her social media accounts. But um, I also bought this bookmark from her. So I got a um, castle and a pink bow. And that's to go with the princess theme here. And then this is a jelly cover that I got for my Hobonichi here. Um, so it's just gonna... All you do is just... You put the cover in here like so, and then you put the cover on this side without all the extra clutter, and you kind of, and it looks like that, basically. How pretty is that, right? So this is the uh, Hollow Stars one, and I got the clear. She has a couple different colors. I think she has like a black a pink maybe I'm not sure I don't really remember and you get to customize the band so I picked a pink band um, just because pink's my favorite color but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and glue the fabric to my planner I actually she gave me this fabric because I saw her planner have this and I thought that was beautiful so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and like trace around and kind of figure out where I want to place it so my main focus are Belle and Rapunzel because I those are my favorite princesses and I want to make sure they look good on the planner. But because of the way the fabric is cut, they will not be making it on the front cover. They'll have to be on the back because there's just not enough room. If I were to try to put them on the front, um, the back would be short because that's the front right there. So. Yeah, it'll just have to do on the back. So I'm gonna make sure that they fit here on the back like that. And keep in mind, this is my first time doing this. So what you see in this video is literally me playing around with the fabric and the planner. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So you can learn from my mistakes if I make any. <laughs> but um, I'm kind of just gauging how tall or short I want it. Honestly, Tinkerbell's not my favorite and it's kind of annoying that she's like dead center in the middle. Um, I don't care about Tinkerbell at all, <laughs> so it kind of sucks, but I'm trying to make sure that this, so I have Jasmine, Ariel, like all three, well, four of the princesses. I didn't want to like cut Jasmine off, you know? So I think this is a good placement for the back. So I can leave that there and then here, you know, I would basically cut off Belle's head sadly, but then uh, Jasmine's head's good there. So that looks kind of good actually. Let me check the back one more time. Yeah, I think, I think this is good. I feel like this is like the perfect placement. Like both, uh, all, what, five girls? all fit in there really well but the front's just not fitting perfectly so like this is how it would look so a lot of the girls heads are like cut off so 
so the front doesn't look that great. Sadly, the back looks like super good. I wish um, the fabric was like to my benefit, but it's not. The only thing I could think of is if I were to place it upside down, but that wouldn't make any sense, you know? Like if I had the planner this way and I could put these girls on the front, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to figure out how I want to cut this first. If I want to glue it this way and then, all right. I think I'm going to go ahead and just place, put glue on the cover and just place it and see how it turns out because I'm not really sure how this is gonna work out. So I'm gonna take this out. I don't know if this will be able to be removed. Okay. All right, so I'm back and I have my undo here. If you don't have this, you need to get one because these are lifesavers. So if you can tell, I was pulling this off and it was ripping off the, uh, like the paper of the backing. So you just apply this to it and it, basically removes the adhesive rather quickly and it dries really fast and it doesn't ruin your stuff so I use this on my planner all the time for any like sticker removal it, you, you can use it on other stuff too honestly anything that has an adhesive you can just apply it and then the great thing about it is that it dries really fast so just go ahead and keep an eye on that and you can see how fast you can see right here how it ripped off like the part of the paper um, but it dries really fast okay so I'm gonna use this I, th I think if you have fabric glue um, I would probably suggest you using fabric glue but because I don't um, I'm just gonna use this glue stick I heard lots of like people rave about this and saying how it's really good so this is the uh, planner glue pen by Prima. Um, I just wrap washi tape around it so I know this is the the used one. I have like about six of these and they're all brand new so I just want to make sure I'm using the used one. But look, look at that. It's like all dried already. So like I said, it dries really fast but I'm going to go ahead and uh, oh, let's see, here's a watermark because I spilled water on my table one time and it got wet. But yeah, I'm going to put glue use this glue and put it on here and just place that down because I don't want this to move. I want this to make sure it stays there and just make sure like not to stretch out the fabric and just to leave it like as neutral as you can because um, you know when you open and close it you don't want the fabric to look stretched out or anything like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is put glue on the spine here. And I guess you should be generous with it. You know, you wanna make sure the fabric um, hope, like stays in place. So I am putting a lot of glue. So good luck to me because I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but Looks like there's no going back now, you know? I don't know if you can see the glue on camera, but I'm going ham on the glue, making sure the fabric really sticks to this. Um, but yeah, like I said, a lot of people love this glue pen. They say that it's really good and um, you know, I told them that I was always using the tape runner and to glue all my stuff down. They were like, this is a lot better than tape runner. So I got a couple when I was at PlannerCon to try out. And yeah, that's what this is. So I guess we'll see how well this really works. So I got a lot on the spine, got this everywhere here. All right. Let's go ahead and apply this. So I'm just gonna put 
put this on the spine, put a little bit of pressure, and then just, just lay this right over, smooth it out, make sure it's how I like it. Remember not to pull on the fabric because you don't want to stretch the fabric. Um, you kind of just want it in its like neutral state. So I'm just putting pressure on the planner and on the spine. So looks like that's stuck very well. All right, how does that look? That looks so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go to the front now and then lay this side down and then I can start cutting and um, uh, gluing it on the inside. So, just get some more glue here on the edge. And then doing this on the, okay. And I make sure to be super generous with this glue because like I said, I don't want any chance of this fabric peeling off or anything. So I am covering every single inch, but the only thing that I have noticed is that this glue pen, like it goes through the, the glue very quickly. Like as you can see, I am, um, rolling up the glue very quickly. Make sure it's in frame. Sorry. Oh no, is that it? <gasps> okay. It looks like I used up like the whole pen. Luckily I have a couple more in stock, but that's the end of this pen. Okay. I'm trying to get the last bit out of this guy. No more? Okay, let me go grab another pen and finish this up. Actually, it looks like I can get this to work. Man, all right, I'm just moving the glue around basically. I'm trying to get the last bits of this guy on here. I think it should be a fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press this in. Lay that down softly. So there's like an increase or like a indent here. So I'm just pushing that into indent. And then just slowly push that in. And then pressure. You guys want to be careful too. Um, do, I wouldn't suggest any type of glue that may be wet because it will probably sink through the fabric. Because I feel like this is like, I don't know if you guys could tell what kind of consistency it is. It's kind of like jelly a little. Um, and if it, you use anything wet, it's gonna go right through the fabric and it might ruin the design of the fabric. And I can already kind of feel like stickiness just using this guy. Not too much, um, you can't really see it coming through, but when I'm putting pressure, I can kind of feel something. So that's a thought, be careful with what kind of glue you choose. Let me um, go get another glue stick really quick. All right, so I got my other glue stick. Um, and, well, I'm not going to use it right now. I think now that it's glued, um, I'm going to figure out how I want to cut this down. Or, like, do I want to glue this whole thing down like that? Or just, like, a little bit? But I kind of don't want to waste any of the fabric because it's so pretty. So... And I need to see. So I guess I should like glue down the spine first, huh? Let's 
take this out. So here's the spine here, and you clearly can't really glue that part, right? So sorry, I'm just trying to work through this right now and see what I need to do. But I think I'm gonna cut like a line down this way. So I'm gonna cut lines here so I could fold that in. But yeah, sorry if this is not in frame. I'm just trying to get a good view of this before I mess up here. So I don't wanna mess this up, but I think here is good. Hopefully, I don't know. And I'm gonna say about, it's so hard because the fabric kind of moves. So, let's, oopsie. Let's say about here, maybe. So I have like a little flap here, right? That way, this can easily fold up and then, you know, this side can fold up like that and this side can fold up like that and then this, I think I'm just gonna leave a little bit and then glue it in just so it covers up that part. Maybe, let me see, how much do I need? Just there, okay. So I think cutting that part is fine. So, as you can see here, I have a little flap. I'm gonna go ahead and get some glue and then, see that's still a little too long, so I'm gonna cut off a little more. Uh, I think that should be good. And then I can glue that in. Honestly, I feel like this could use a little more cutting. So I'm gonna try cutting right here. Sorry if this is out of frame, guys. I'm trying my best here. <laughs> it's very hard to like keep an, uh, an eye on the, the camera and then do this at the same time, but Okay, I think that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and somehow try to get the glue in there. And I can try getting the glue on the fabric too. That might be easier. Oh, see I'm out of frame again. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the fabric. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to get glue on the actual notebook part, the paper. But I'm gonna go ahead and push that in here. Yeah, get that in there. Looking nice and pretty. Okay. So now I think good to go with this part and gluing that down. Let's see this side. If I were to glue that down and flip this over like that, how does this side look? Okay, that looks good. So if I were to flip that over like that, ooh, that looks really good. Okay, so this part's sticking out a little bit, so I gotta fix that. That part is sticking out. I don't know if this was glued down properly, but I think that looks good. So just gotta make sure the glue stays in there. Let me see, ooh, I have, or I can use my scissors actually, and like try to press it down since my fingers are not getting in there really, but use the, okay. So now, oh, this is the front, okay. I think I can glue this part down. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and let me see how far this goes up. So about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue here and maybe a little bit of glue on the edge of the fabric. It's kind of hard because the fabric is stretchy. So as I try to do this, it, it just like picks up. All right, so I got that and just gently push that in. Remember, you don't want to stretch it. There you go. Ooh, how cute. So excited. Okay. So I have that done. Ooh, that looks so good. Okay. So should I do this side? No, I'm gonna do up here. Alright. Or should I do it down here? No, I'll do down here. I'm like all over the place, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna test this one more time, make sure this looks good. See, I'm not sure I like the way that looks right now. Is that a little messy? Actually, no. That's, I guess that's fine. I wasn't liking how, like, if you can see, it's like a little crooked. But I guess when you fold it, it looks fine. So I'll just leave it the way it is. All right. So I'm going to measure this here. About here is good for gluing and um, get a little bit on the edge here okay all right go ahead and Gently pull this up and press gently. Ooh. There's like a clump of glue right here. <laughs> okay. And that should be good. Ooh, okay. This is starting to look really good. Ooh. Sorry, guys. I'm making weird noises. I'm so excited. Just look at this, it's beautiful already. And I love how you can see like the the ridge of the spine still. It, it looks so nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this side of the spine here. This side's a lot easier because it's shorter. The other side was a little hard because it was so long. But yeah, just, you know, be careful and measure and stuff, okay. So, cut right here, and cut right about here, maybe. Okay, let's see how this looks, so. Dang, this is tight. Look at this. Barely any room to spare. But that's okay. It's fine with me. Okay. So, is this going to be okay if I tuck this in here and I do that? Yes, that looks like it will work. If I tuck that in here and tuck this side in here and that gets cut down that looks good to me okay so I only need a little bit of that so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off remember not to cut off too much because you can always cut off more if you need to but if you cut off too much there's no going back and you don't want you know the the can the fabric or the canvas part showing if you're trying to cover it right so just do little by little until you think it's good 
So I guess here is good. This is gonna be so hard to get the glue on. It's so tiny. Oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'll just put it on the fabric and hope for the best because there's not much I can do here. Just put a little bit of pressure, you know, use tweezers, whatever you got, help put that in there. I got the tip of these scissors so I can just like get that in there. Okay, and then I feel like this is a little too long, so I'm going to cut a little bit of it. Okay, then I can go ahead and glue this down. I'm just putting it on the edge right now because this fabric is very uh, short. I'm not really sure how high it would go, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put on the tips of this fabric here. And then go ahead and gently press. that look okay it's a little overlapping so I'm gonna cut just a little bit here I feel like it's coming out yeah it is it's not staying oh no okay so let's try to put some more glue on here Maybe I have to hold it a little bit longer, I'm not sure. But, oh, that's a lot of glue. Well, maybe that will help, I don't know. All right, so more glue, and then maybe a little bit more pressure, like it has, it needs to dry or something, I don't know. I hope you guys are still finding this like helpful, even though I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just literally doing this as I go along, winging everything, but I hope this helps you if you're curious and you want to do this because why not? This is beautiful, all right? Okay, it looks like it's sticking. Hopefully it stays. Um, I'm just gonna give it a little bit more pressure. Cause the fabric, it was just so tiny. I'm just not sure if it will stay in there. Okay, last one down here. So I'll just do the edges here. And then the bottom of the fabric. And then go ahead and push. Don't stretch the fabric like always. What is that? Oh, it's just a clump of glue. Haha. <laughs> okay. So it looks good. Let's check on this again. Make sure it doesn't peel off or anything. I mean, in the end, I'm putting it in the jelly cover, so. It's not going to matter too much, but I just want it to stay like the way it is, you know? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and glue these in. So I'm just trying to figure out if I want to cut this or if I'm going to leave it the way it is. Or what? What do I want to do? Or if I glue this down and then glue this in, but then that would make this really thick. If I were to glue it down, 
I don't know. Or if I did that, would that be okay? I don't know. How would this work? Honestly, I don't like how thick it is, so I think I'm going to have to cut it. But it just doesn't... Seems like no matter how I cut it, um, you know what, I'm just going to try it because I just, I don't like this. Okay. Honestly, I think it'll be fine because it's going to be on the inside anyways, right? So I'm just going to cut it straight across and see how this turns out because I honestly think I'm going to cut it more on the inside so it's not too thick. I'm gonna cut it off about here. And then, let's see. I, okay. I just don't like that this is like overlapping, so I'm thinking about like cutting it at an angle maybe so it doesn't overlap, but I'm not sure how I want this done yet. Because if I fold it, it becomes too thick and I don't like that. So I'm thinking if I just cut it that way. I guess I could try it. I just don't. Alright. I think I'm just going to go for it. Oh no, this is so scary. Okay. Like, I don't know how deep of a cut I want to do. Should I do, like, just a little one? Okay. Let's try a very small diagonal cut. See how I like it. And then I will try this side too. So. I think what I'm going to do is set this up and try a diagonal cut. happening okay Okay, sorry. I'm just like thinking about this and trying to figure out how I want it done. I feel like this is okay. I just want to make sure it's not like gross looking on the corners here. I want to make sure that like I'm not happy with this corner here. I think it looks funny. You see that? Like it's all pointy. Where this side's, uh, it's not as pointy, but I feel like it's probably because, I don't know, honestly. I'm just not, not thrilled about it, but, alright, I'm gonna clear the 
this out and then I'll try this side and see how I like it. Just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But, see, I thought if I did it like this, it would be too thick. But now I feel like maybe I should have done that. I'm going to glue this down and just see how I like it because I don't know what I want right now. So I'm just going to place a little bit of glue here and just fold this right across like that, right? Is that how it's done here? Okay, glue that down and then put a little glue here. Okay, and then glue this down. Glue that down. Okay, let's see how this looks. I feel like this is probably not bad. It's just see up here though, because there's literally like too many layers. It's very fat right here, but I feel like that might be okay. It might turn out better than this side. Like I'm just not happy with this right here. Um, I don't know how to fix that, honestly. What if I just glue this? Let me see here. Glue that part down and then just, I mean, if it's on the inside, I guess it doesn't matter too much because I just don't like it. I feel like that, that's okay. Okay. And then I can just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. Don't do what I did here. This looks bad. Luckily, it's the back, and you know, I think between the two, I like this side better. What I'm gonna do here is basically I just fold it this part and this part, and I think I'm just gonna do this. And I think I'm happier with that than this, just because this corner is fine, but because I worked off of this corner and I was perfecting it down here, um, this side, did not get that same care. So it just doesn't look good. I don't know how to fix it. So I'm just gonna glue it the way it is. And I don't know, hope for the best, I guess. Just do it. I wanna get this done with. And put on that jelly cover. So just go ahead and put glue on the edges here. And then carefully apply the pressure here. Done. Okay. And then off to do this side. think I put glue on the fabric on the other end. I'm going to have to double check. So I'm not, oh, and then I forgot to put glue here too. Oh my God, I'm all over the place. Okay, so just put glue on the edges here. Fold in gently, push down. I'm gonna push like inwards, you know, just to make everything smooth here. 
Like, what is this? This is so gross looking, this bump here. What is that? I don't know. Oh. See, the fabric was wrinkling. That's why there's a bump there. Uh, I think it's fine. It's just because the fabric is like folded on top of each other. It's kind of hard to get it super perfect. But I think I like the way it turned out. It looks pretty good um, versus this side. I was just trying to make it less bulky by cutting off more fabric, but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted. But I think overall it turned out really well. So, and hair is here. So this is that little corner that's a little weird. If you can tell, one, this side's a little bit taller than this side because there's like extra fabric there, but see on here in this corner, it turned out really well the way I did it. I don't know why this one got weird, but yeah, here's the top. And here's the bottom. See, on the bottom, this side actually looks better. This is the side that is cut this way. I was just trying to get rid of the bulk. With this side, you can see the extra fabric, which I don't like, but I feel like the corners turned out better. So I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I mean, here's the top. You can see that extra fabric where this side, you don't really see it, so it does look better. Um, yeah, I mean, I tried it both ways, so whichever you guys have a preference for, if you like seeing that from the top or not, but I'm really happy with the placement and everything. Looks beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and place this into the jelly cover. Sorry, I apologize for the really long video. This is filmed in real time, and so, you know, you can see exactly what I did, my mistakes. I don't think I'm going to edit this. I'm just going to leave it the way it is so you guys can see how I work through it and my thought process. But I think it turned out really good. I'm so excited to see this in here. Um, I would personally suggest you wait until it dries before you shove it in here because the fabric was moving a little bit because I was forcing it in but I don't want to wait and I'm too excited so I shoved it in but I suggest being very careful and look at how beautiful it is it's so pretty okay so you can see here we have the hollow stars and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the band on so that's the way it looks. Then we have the princesses, we have my bell and my Rapunzel. And yeah. So thanks so much for watching, you know, 45 minutes of this video with me, guys. And if you found it helpful, please uh, go ahead and like the video and let me know in the comments that you actually you know, enjoyed watching this and my thought process and how it works and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just put this in. So literally everything that you see decorated in my planner is from Hello Serendipity. Um, so like I said, here's her business card and her information if you're curious. And you want to check out her stuff they're super cute and then um i got this leather rope to match with this band here so how this works is i'm gonna put one side on my uh what is this my monthly page and then one will be for the weekly page and so you just stick it in like that and then you can go ahead and close your planner. Let me figure out how to get this done correctly. Um, come on. I'm trying to get these guys to go in here. All right. Let me 
me see if I can stick them in here. There we go. Stick those guys in there because I don't need them. These are so pretty. Okay, and there's my final planner. How cute is that? So we have the uh, castle and the bow, the pink um, leather uh, strings, I guess. I don't know. We have the elastic band and my princesses. I am so happy and pleased with how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you happen to do one of your own, go ahead and post it on Instagram and tag me. I'd love to see if you guys do something similar to this. I want to see like your creations and your ideas and stuff. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment or DM me on Instagram. And I'll get back to you, alright? Alright, bye!